Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be his holy and righteous name. I'm not a religious fanatic. I just believe in, you know, tr treating people right, regardless of race, creed, color, or um, sexual orientation or lifestyle, you know. And we all weak creatures of a moment. We all weak creatures of habit. We, we are all, you know, uh, insects on this planet compared to the awesomeness and the supernatural nature of God our Father. He is the father of the earthworm, as we are <laughs> uh, the earthworm in the possum's uh, dinner, as I believe this be. That wet ring around the tub that we leave, a lot of people think that's dirty. No, I'm just dirty. No, that's just wet. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust and earth to earth. Regardless of how you say it, it's just wet death. As we degrade and as we age, you know, and it used to be if someone was older than you, uh, they were uh, delegated and dedicated and obligated to conduct themselves better because they learn right from wrong quicker. So if you five and they 10, uh, they are your elder. If they six and you four. So anyone who is older, we surmise or we really believe, I know I do, that they uh, ought to be better, even if they're not more educated or have more money or whatever, a social status, whatever the case may be, but a person that's older than you, should, they learn right and wrong first. So therefore, they should be better than you morally. You know, just like, I'm, some, I'm, just, I'm just blown away by people who have men or women in their presence in the household in the marriage with masters and phds and just so uh, um intelligent and smart and wise at the same time and can do anything you know um, just a supernatural seal <laughs> can balance the ball on the nose and balance the checkbook cook and i mean just think about the person who in, in your presence in your life that you're married to or dating or or, 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 or hooked to I, I mean i don't know all that education Saved, educated, giving, kind, got they self together. Your doctor got eight years of uh, of college and your wife or husband got eight years of college. Your parole officer, <laughs> your probation officer got four years of college and your wife or husband got four years of college. But you won't listen to your wife or your husband. But you listen to that parole officer, that judge, that police officer, I pray as I leave this alone. But I, I've always believed deep within my own heart that if you were older, <laughs> I'm blessed by our father to teach in all uh, landscapes and atmospheres and, and demographics. And sometimes I have to get pretty hood or, or, or the neighbor's gone. Now it's just hood. Put your hands on the hood. Everybody get, got on the hood. You know, you got on the hood here, you in the hood. And and and, 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 and my, 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 my my paints, my pastels, my watercolors have to change. So I was I was blessed with our father to teach one day on the far south side of Chicago. And I was talking about, you know, a dress man and, and, and how you talk and, and carry yourself. You know, how I made this statement, how Caucasian people don't have a black voice or African-American voice or personality. But as soon as we hit the workplace, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, how are you doing? But then as soon as we hit the street or the door, not all of us, and I'm not signifying or stereotyping, but I'm teaching as I leave this alone. So why is it that so many of us go to work heroes and come home or don't even get in the car and turn into a zero? Anger and disrespect. You're so sweet and kind and giving and everybody loves you on your job. But as soon as you get off your job, you forget your your profession. You forget, you, you, you forget your confession, your profession. And you just turn into this incredible hulk or incredible what? Incredible meanness, incredible sass, and, and, and incredible ass. <laughs> Jackass. Incredible food, and, and incredible crew. We all go back and forth in our mind. I fight my mind daily. I've been fighting my mind since I left the military. I fought my mind in the military. And I've been fighting it out of the military as I land God's airplane or spacecraft. But being that the person is older, I surmise that they 
they should be better and not just in, I mean, the intellect, education may not be there. I mean, because of circumstances or, you know, you might be from two different states or social status or she's educated, he's not. Or equal education or, or, or a GED and a PhD, as I leave this be, but to be older, you are obligated, delegated, delegated, and should be dedicated to teaching right from wrong in such a better sense. It would behoove you because you learned it first as I leave this be. So I was saying thing about how people who are older than I am, there's so many I've come in contact with. You got a an 80 year old neck and you got on a a hairpiece for a 20 year old. You don't wear age appropriate stuff. You uh, are so uh, so consumed with your outside, but your inside is a mess. And you stay in the mirror. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. And the scripture says it's not what goes into a man or woman that defiles him, but what comes out as I land God's airplane or spacecraft, the pork, the fried foods, the junk food, eating anything you want to, it's gonna cause obesity and uh, circulatory problems and high blood pressure and and and, and, and drinking and, and doing all kinds of drugs and called liver cancer and liver disease and cirrhosis and I mean and, and you know you go from a coke bottle to a three liter because of your diet. But anything you spend time with you will become. So as I've discovered, so many people don't understand that it's nothing that goes into you that makes you your heart bad. It's what comes out of you that makes your heart bad, you know? It says, nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles them. That's Mark 7 and 15, the NIV version. And the King James Version says, <laughs> there is nothing from without a man on the outside of man that entering into him or her can defile him, colon, which is a life or death situation. But the things which come out of him or her those are they that defile the man or woman as I leave this alone. It's not what goes into you, it's what comes out of you. I take this breath in, I can say, man, man, I can't use that breath no more, but somebody else can. And words are the same way. The same letters in sword, S-W-O-R-D, are the same letters in words. You can build a person up, you can tear a person down. God framed the world on these words let there be light as i leave this alone so we have to be aware you can say nothing wrong with you you can be stubborn and foolish all you want to because we are free will beings but you're going to have to pay for how you talk and speak to people you don't know who you're talking to touch not my prophets do my uh uh uh, uh, uh no, touch not my anointed do my prophets no harm and I'm not trying to put anybody on a pedestal because you let folks put you on a pedestal, they can knock you down. But if you are older, people say 21. Some people say the age of 40, which means probation of God. At the age of 40, you are a full grown man. I'm talking about moi, the man, not the woman. But it's not what goes until you defiles you. It's that cussing, that fussing, that, that inability to compromise, to say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I try to do it again. That pride, the loud lies about oneself as I leave this alone. I pray we all get this. It's not what goes into me when I eat that defiles my heart. It's what comes out of me that defiles my heart and injures and hurts others. When I'm wrong, not if, I'm wrong. I pray my change. I've been changed. I'm seeking further change and I'm changing. As God paints my hair white, 52 years of of 365 days of yesterdays and today's and tomorrow's 52 years worth and I'm grateful we have to watch our mouth guard our hearts watch our tongue and be aware that everything we say can either tear down or build up it's not what goes into you that messes up your heart it's what comes out of you peace y'all know what it is <laughs>